This is a case in which law enforcement was able to identify a man consumed with hate and bent on mass murder and stop him before he could carry out his attack. The FBI says 26-year-old Mark Domingo, an army veteran who served in Afghanistan, posted online supporting violent jihad. One of those posts, America Needs Another Vegas event, referring to the 2017 mass shooting there. Another, after the mosque attacks in Christchurch, said there must be retribution. The FBI noticed Domingo's posts and sent an informant to meet with him. Domingo reportedly mulled over various targets, Jews on their way to synagogue, police officers, churches, a military facility, the Santa Monica Pier, then allegedly settled on a plan. He would bomb a weekend rally in Long Beach with pressure cookers. He allegedly purchased several hundred three-inch long nails to be used in IEDs as shrapnel, specifically because the nails were long enough to penetrate the human body and puncture internal organs. On Friday, police say they arrested him as he surveyed his attack site. If successful, that attack would have taken place the same weekend as the synagogue shootings in Poway, California. That alleged gunman also posted online and claimed to be inspired by the Christchurch shootings. Today, the FBI say they got a tip about that attack, but it was too late. In a statement today, John Ernest's family said, Our son's actions were informed by people we do not know and ideas we do not hold. How our son was attracted to such darkness is a terrifying mystery to us. In Domingo's case, authorities proudly say the system worked. But what worries them most, Domingo's path to violence took just two months. Sometimes we get asked what keeps you up at night. This is a case that keeps us up at night. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Los Angeles. Now today, family, friends and supporters gathered to say goodbye to a woman killed in the synagogue shooting. Her name is Lori Kay. Today, you know, we want to we want to celebrate her life um, and we want to remember her and uh, thank God for the time that we that we had with her. Welcome the synagogue was packed with those wounded in the attack also in attendance. There, Kay's daughter said that she knew her mother had already forgiven the man who took her life. The U.S.'s new envoy for combating anti-Semitism said that the Trump administration was, quote, at war with those committed to hate.